Hello, welcome to a new series, Nostalgia versus Reality. <laughs> I'm sitting here in the parking lot of the hospital. You notice uh, back there, that's the um, um, little scooter thing that my wife will need to use in order to move around. She's having ankle surgery today. There's a couple of ligaments that they had to repair and this broken bone, yeah. She's gonna be out of commission for a while. It's gonna be a maybe a two hour long wait for me, so I figure I sit here in the parking lot and do a video. And I had the idea for this nostalgia versus reality. When it comes to this hobby, comic book collecting, okay, the word nostalgia is tossed around all the time. But the reality is a lot of people that collect collect just because that's what we do we collect you know if you are a young collector a new collector certainly nostalgia have very little impact on why you start collecting okay that's the reality uh, for many of us the older people sure nostalgia play a big part on why we still collect or we are st or why we still keep the stuff that we have um, collecting is not about just buying all the time it's, it, that's one of the things that I brought up on my channel often you don't have to buy a lot of stuff to collect and you can also buy without nostalgia and certainly many things that I bought today has very little to do with nostalgia okay buying something to flip is not nostalgia um, many of the things that I consider have nostalgia I already have I already purchased for my collection so I'm content I think once I, th I think this I can't say this for other collector okay one of the things I'm always very careful about is trying to speak for the majority of other people I don't know why people buy what they buy I just know that for me you know I can have nostalgia with this hobby without buying one more book for my collection I'm quite content with it I don't need any more uh, that's the keyword need okay and then you know for a lot of people you know it, it's it's a it's, it's a mesh between nostalgia and addiction <laughs> For the lack of a better word, you know, it's nothing wrong with it, but I think a lot of people don't want to use the word addiction instead of, you know, instead they use nostalgia as the reason why they buying what they buying. Um, but that's just how I interpret the way a lot of people behave. It is is I think um, this hobby is very addicting, no doubt about it. Uh, just like any collectible. You know, a lot of people that collect things would agree. The reason why they collect or keep collecting or hoarding and can't let go of a lot of things is that things are, the, the, whatever it is that they're collecting is very addictive. And I think, you know, it's okay to have that problem. It's the worst thing in life to be addicted to, right? But at some point, even addic being addictive to comic books and can't stop buying is also not healthy and can be dangerous in many ways, for sure, financially. A lot of people go into this overbuying, overpaying, taking on debts that they don't need to. That's not, not, that is not nostalgia, okay? The reality is when someone go overboard to buy something because they got to have it it's not nostalgia okay it, it, in my opinion it's not nostalgia it is more of an addiction than nostalgia and i'm just content and happy that you know i am at that stage where i'm just like it's not a big deal anymore was it ever a big deal probably i can't really pin down um, but for sure, having money f f with the birth of eBay, 
uh, in 1999-ish when I was back in the hobby and eBay opened up the big door to buy stuff and I have money. I was making big money. You know, by big money, you know, six figures. Um, and it, it, it was insane. It was so much fun to be able to buy a lot of stuff. Even things I didn't really want. <laughs> High grade, I gotta have it. Razor sharp corners and edges, gotta buy it. So, yeah, that's that's that has absolutely nothing to do with nostalgia. There are books that I bought in those days that can be nostalgia because there was books that I knew I wanted back in the eighties when I was poor and in school and couldn't afford it. Those purchases were nostalgia. More about nostalgia than addictive or addiction. So for me, um, it was a mesh of a lot. But as but as I go through my years of buying and start to get more of the stuff that I always wanted back in the 80s and the 90s, then it's no longer about nostalgia. At least for me, it's about buying something because it's fun. The hobby is fun. It is addictive and it's a fun way to make a little profit. I'm a trader, I'm a stock trader. So for me, it's always fun to buy and sell something for a profit. Um, so in the past few years, that has been more and more of my focus, more so than buying something because of, of some kind of nostalgia reason. So what I hope to do with this series is you know, trying to put a line between what is nostalgia and what is reality. So going forward, there will be a whole bunch of different uh, things that relate to nostalgia and I can break that down hopefully and make sense of what I think is nostalgia based and what is the reality. Hopefully it will be a fun series. I'm, I have no idea where it will go but as I'm sitting here waiting for my wife, I said, why not? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.